My name is Eric Stromberg, and I'm here in Cannes on board the new Sonata C349. We'd like to invite you to take a, take a look at this fantastic new boat that joins our Sonata C range. Come on aboard. You can see, first of all, we have a very large uh, swim platform here aft. We have two large lockers, uh, one for the life raft, the other's for, uh, for uh, uh, lines and uh, fenders. What you see uh, on a boat now here, at, even at, uh, at 10 meters, is a, a wide aft section with, uh, with uh, twin helms, a big cockpit area, a large table, so really a, a lot of room and a lot of space given over to the cockpit, which is of course where you spend 80% of your time when you're on board the boat. Let's take a closer look at one of the helm stations. So here uh, at the helm station you have uh, obviously the, the wheel itself. You have a winch here where you have coming back to the winch your main sheet and your jib sheet. So they're very easy to control the boat right from this particular point. And you have of course centralization of the electronics whether that be GPS, autopilot and instrumentation right here at the helm and of course your, your compass. We wanted to bring a little bit of innovation to some of the, uh, the running gear on the boat. So we have a, a couple of things that are coming from uh, race boats, that are coming from dinghies, that are coming from uh, offshore boats. Uh, the first is the, the use of what we call a Y bridle uh, here for the main sheet. The advantage of the Y bridle is that usually in a boat of this size, you would have on deck two, uh, two uh, uh, pulleys. And the problem with these two pulleys is that you create a triangle that is very easily deformed and very difficult to bring the boom back to the center line. With the Y bridle, the, the distance between the lower block and the upper block is very little, and that really allows to have a, a, a much better, uh, a much better uh, uh, control uh, of the mainsail itself, so a lot better trimming. So that's a very good innovation that comes from the racing world. And the second uh, innovation is the use of the friction rings here for the Genoa sheet leads. So this is something you see on uh, America, uh, America's Cup boats, something you see on offshore boats, Vendée Globe, etc. Here brought to a cruising boat because in fact it's a very simple solution that is very uh, that allows for a very good trim of the sail. So we've, we've brought that in as well here on a family cruising boat. As we go, go forward on the boat, we come to a very nice area here uh, forward with, uh, with an anchor locker. We have on this boat here equipped with the uh, optional bowsprit, which allows for very easy use of a code zero or asymmetrical sail. You can see that you have a, uh, an offset uh, anchor uh, roller on this boat. When you do not have the, uh, the bowsprit, the anchor roller is, of course, uh, straight for the, uh, for the anchor. Let me take, show you here the, the anchor locker. Just plenty of room for an anchor and uh, has a spot here also for the optional electric windlass. And lastly, on the outside, one of the great innovations of the boat is to, be, is to design a boat without any backstay whatsoever. So what you have on this boat is instead of having uh, swept back spreaders at 12 degrees, the spreaders are actually swept back at 30 degrees, which creates incredible stability for the mast and it allows you to, to sail uh, at all points of sail in all conditions without a backstay. And what that does in terms of the cockpit is improve greatly the ergonomics of the cockpit uh, to make sure that you have nothing uh, that you have uh, in, the, in your back when you are, uh, when you are sitting at the helm and it, it allows us of course to push those helm stations as far outboard as possible for greater visibility. Let's go ahead and take a look at the, uh, at the inside. One of the notable features of the inside of the Sonata C349 is the fact that we used uh, a hull design that integrates what we call positive shear. Positive shear means that you have a much higher deck line in the middle of the boat. It, classically in a boat your, your shear line is a slightly curved uh, from the bow towards the stern, if you think of a bike, Viking boat or any of the classic boats uh, of, of history, and that is the way that we've always done our boats. On the 349, we're being a little bit more innovative, and in fact that curve goes slightly in the other direction. And what that creates uh, when you do it subtly, is obviously very difficult to, to view from the outside, but what it creates on the inside is uh, substantially more volume in the center of the boat, where you really want it, here in the, in the saloon. And you'll see it by the very high uh, deck line uh, in the saloon, and that is really what allowed us to have a maximum amount of volume in a boat of only 10 meters. The first thing that you see when you come down below is this very nice galley. We, we wanted to use a, a little higher end uh, countertop uh, material. Uh, we have lots of storage. We have a refrigerator in here, uh, upper cabinets that include the possibility of installation of a, of a microwave. You have lots of drawers and storage. You, you have a storage cabinet here with a, a cutlery drawer. Uh, you have uh, underneath the, uh, the sink uh, baskets, uh, rubbish, and uh, lots of other storage areas. So really a very nice uh, galley, the kind of galley you'd usually find on a 37 or 40 footer. So uh, really a, 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 a good galley for, uh, for family cruising. 
the main saloon of the boat was also something we really wanted to work on to make it as, as, uh, as user-friendly as possible. So we have a, a table here that has two folding leaves. When I fold up both leaves, you can see that the table has a very large uh, surface area. And we even have this uh, optional seat here, which you can pull out and you can place at the back end here. And that creates another seating area for, uh, for a very easily uh, six, seven people around the table. And you can see here, the only major uh, uh, problem is that you have a, a very uh, small area here to pass between the chart table and the table. And we came up with a solution, which is to fold the table uh, out of the way. And this gives you a spot here to, uh, to be able to slide in and out uh, and to really be a lot of people around the table when you're more in a dining mode. When I drop the table leaf here, you can see that the access forward to the forward cabin is, is very easy. And the innovation of the forward cabin was to use two big doors, so, so two double doors, and that allows to, to have this be a very open during the day, bringing in light, ventilation, and just a sense of space. And then, of course, the, the, uh, the ability to close off to give this a fully private cabin uh, at night. The, uh, the aft cabin on this boat, this is a two cabin boat, uh, has, uh, has a very large, uh, uh, very large uh, bed. And the advantage of the wider hull with the, with the hard chine is to create a bed that is much more rectangular than you would see on previous generations. That because we don't have any cockpit lockers on this side of the boat, you have a lot of headroom, a lot of light, a lot of ventilation, and you have indirect lighting going down the hull that creates uh, light being pulled all the way through the cabin. So a very nice uh, uh, closed cabin here in the aft cabin. And on the other side of the two cabin boat here, we have access into the head compartment. So in the head, we have, uh, of course, the, the toilet. We have a fully separate shower with a shower door, a hanging bar for wet clothing, and uh, access directly here into the back uh, sail locker, which is accessible also from the, uh, from the cockpit through a hatch. This is what I like to call the garage. It's where you put all of those items uh, that you need to stow on board the boat. And it's something that you usually only find in much larger boats. So it's really a, a very nice feature of this, uh, this uh, boat. And of course, the boat can also be equipped with a third cabin, which would take the place of that, uh, of that sail locker, but it allows you to have three cabins in a 10 meter boat. Thank you for visiting the Genoa Sun Odyssey 349 with us today. It's a boat that's really set up for, uh, for family cruising, a boat with a big cockpit, uh, easy to use, easy, uh, easy sail plan, a very nice uh, high performance uh, hull that is very stable uh, underway, big interior volume with lots of features. So it's really uh, an all around uh, great boat at the 10 meter size. And uh, if you want any further information on the boat, uh, all of the information on the boat is on our website at Genoa.com. Thank you.